Hey, TVO kids, welcome back to The Space. I am here with a publisher from Brain Space Magazine. It's Nikki. Thanks for being here, Nikki. Thank you so much for having us. I'm super excited. So tell us a bit about Brain Space Magazine. It's not your average magazine, right? It isn't. It's a very cool magazine for kids, and it has lots of math, lots of science, lots Sweet. of language. Really interesting magazine, but the cool thing about it is that it's interactive with iPads. What? OK, you'll have to explain how does that work? So this is delivered to you at home right. and then you take your iPad and you hold it in front of the picture and that penguin comes to life. What? That's so cool. And does that kind of happen throughout the magazine too? It does. It does through wow. the whole magazine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that is already super cool and technological. But we have you here today because there's a super awesome article in this month's issue on robots and the history of robots. So let's talk about that a little bit. Where does the history of robots start? How did it all begin? Right, so it starts way before what we mentioned in the magazine. Mm -hmm. It starts way back, apparently in 400 BC. There's wow. a mathematician who invented a robot made out of wood and he was powered by steam. It was a bird, it was a robotic pigeon. Cool, and that picture that we just saw, that was the first robot as featured in the magazine in 1898. In What's 1898, that one all about? That was a remote control boat that was invented by Tesla. And Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. Look at it. And that looks nothing like the robots. It, we know today. It doesn't. No, but it was pretty cool. And was, in, in fact, it was so cool that people thought it was magic. They didn't what? believe that it was a robot. Yeah. That's really awesome. Yeah. And then the next robot looks more like ones we're familiar with today. That's the Mars Rover, correct? The Mars Rover. And the Mars Rover was really cool because um, it was sort of the first test pilot for airbags up in space for future exploration uh, up in Mars. Wow, so that really kicked off something that's so important to us now, right? Uh, oh, absolutely. this is awesome. Okay, well, TVO kids, please call in not only to win a Brain Space subscription, but to ask Nikki a question. And we're gonna be talking about robots and baby penguins. We are. <laughs> yeah, up after Arthur, here in the space. It's Robot Week all week long right here in the space. Welcome back to the Robot Space TVO Kids. You're hanging out with Melissa and I am here with Nikki, publisher from Brain Space Magazine. And I just want to get right to it because we got a ton of calls, right, from TVO Kids. Awesome questions. All of you that called in, you're entered to win subscriptions to Brain Space and these books, awesome prizes. Um, but let's get to it. Our first question for Nikki comes from Gunan. Hi, Gunan. Hi. Hey, what's your question for Nikki? What inspired you to be a magazine writer? Oh, wow. wow, that's so nice. That is a nice, nice question. question. Um, I became a magazine publisher uh, because I was a teacher and I taught grade eight students um, and they were so interested in learning. And one day I saw a TED talk on augmented reality um, based on the Harry Potter movies. I don't know if you've seen Ooh, those. But like the newspaper, right? That's right, where the newspaper comes to life. And it's the oh, same technology that. that's used in the magazine. And I thought, boy, oh boy, we need to step it up for kids and do something really clever for them so that's why I did it. Uh, that is such an awesome answer. I love that. Thank you so much for that question Gunin. That was really awesome. Okay and we have another question. This one comes from Wyatt. Hey Wyatt. Hi Wyatt. Wyatt are you there? Yeah. Oh hey Wyatt. So what's your question for Nikki? Um how much do you like robots? Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> who does not love robots? Robots are awesome. Do you have a favorite robot? Well, I've learned a lot about robots writing for the magazine, and I'd have to say uh, Asimo is probably now one of my favorite robots now that I've learned more about him. He's a bit of a brave robot, if robots can be brave. I think so, yeah. He's up on the space station, and he does some of the really dangerous jobs for human beings. And last year, um, Asimo got a new pair of legs. What? They sent legs to him in space? They sent legs to him <laughs> up in space, and now he can get out of the space station, and I don't wow. know if he dances, but he does do. <laughs> but he has legs. So. Interesting jobs. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Again, what a great question. Thank you so much for calling in, Wyatt. Thank so you. So in this episode, we talked uh, a little bit about um, this episode, this uh, issue of the magazine. I'm getting <laughs> my mediums confused, um, about baby penguins and robots. Now, can we get 
gave TVO kids just a quick little teaser about what they might be reading about. So it's all in the magazine, but quickly, mm -hmm. um, baby penguins get really nervous. All penguins get really nervous, so much so that their heart rates go up when human beings are around, oh. and it can really affect their health. Right. Um, so we need to study baby penguins and their habits so that if ever animals need help, we mm -hmm. know what to do. And so we've uh, cleverly decided to use little Ranger Rover robots disguised as penguins, and they hang out with the baby penguins. What? Baby penguin robots? Robots. Okay, Nikki, thank you so much for Very being good. here thank today. You. TVO Kids, keep calling in for thank Brain you. Space Magazine prizes. That was awesome. And Look Cool is up next. Robots, all week long right here in the space.